Sorry. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> <two. laughs> a while ago, I proved to you that zero was equal to one, and I did that by using an infinite series. I could have proven that zero was equal to any number. I just chose one. And once you prove zero is equal to any number, you can add or subtract any number from both sides. You can prove any number is equal to any number. But today I'm going to prove by a different method that one equals two. Believe it or not. So prove. Let, for example, A equals B. Whatever A is, B is the same number. Then multiply both sides by A. You get A squared equals AB. Then subtract B squared from both sides. Operations. Oh. Ah. Then you can factor both sides by a different method. Left hand side, difference of squares. So what do you get? A plus B, B, plus B, B, minus. A plus B times A minus B. On the right hand side, you can factor by factoring a B. common factor, by factoring out B, and you get A, A minus B. B. A minus B. Now, which one done before you say anything? At this point, I can divide both sides by A minus B. Another way, I can just cancel A minus B. So I get a plus B equals B. Yeah. But A is equal to B. So that's the same as B plus B equals B. Because A is equal to B. Or 2B equals 1. 2B or not 2B. This is not 2B. Here, this is just B. Divide both sides by B. And you get 2 equals 1. QED. Big fan check mark. Impossible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's wrong here? <laughs> Two equals one. Oh, shoot, be quiet. <laughs> she knows. I'll, I'll get him to give us the answer in a minute. What's wrong here? If there's nothing wrong, this must be true. Oh. Ah, very logical. What if A and B equals to zero? Well, they, 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 well, they're, but they, they could, but they really could anything. A cannot be equal to B. It is equal to B. I said Why? so. Why? Magic, magic. Shoot. Because you cancel A minus B, you have to make sure A minus B is not zero. But you said A equal B, so A minus B is zero. All right, you're on the right so track, John. Cancel. It's not that they can't be zero. They can be. They can't be the same number because if they're the same number, well, they can be the same number. But then if you you can't divide by A minus B. That's what I'm really doing when I cancel, because A minus B equals zero. Oh. When you divide by zero, all sorts of weird things can happen. You can prove all sorts of interesting things when, when you divide by zero. So don't divide by zero, or you'll end up proving this. And then nothing in the universe will make sense. All right? Okay, there you have it. Thank you, Ben.